Hey guys, I'm here on Ivory Hills Road in the Ivory Hills subdivision. It is a great location right off of Tylersville Road, two minutes from I-75, one minute from Myers and Lowe's and all those restaurants. As you can see, I am in the, here's the front door and it, a nice two-story foyer. Here's the steps. It's just a short staircase because it's only about a, I think it's a story and a half. So you can either go left or right from here. And right is the formal living room. Big replacement windows here. All the dressings and window covers and everything's good. Carpets in decent shape. Walls are all in good shape. The trim is in good shape. This is room. So either and then you can go left and you have the formal dining room. Get it's good shape. There's carpet in here, tile in the hallway. There is an organ, they're selling that if you're interested. You walk in here, there's a big open kitchen. This is the uh, you know, eat in part of the kitchen, then you can go over here and it's the kitchen's open to the whole house, the whole so this be your main main room here. Just beautiful woodwork. This was actually the, the gas fireplace. Still in working order. Just some great woodwork all the way around. Actually, this was the builder's residence. The, the gentleman who built the subdivision, this was his main residence. So he didn't spare any expense when he built this. The wood doors, six panel wood doors are all solid wood. I actually updated this bathroom so you can see a new toilet, new pedestal sink, a new light fixture. All paper, but that's an easy fix. Here's the main closet. Here I'll back up so you can see it. Main coat closet. And here is one of the two master bedrooms. So just a big bedroom so you can either have your bedroom on the first floor or the second floor. Actually the second floor master is a little bit bigger. So it curves around and you have Two closets. One is a, a big walk-in closet with built-in shelves. And the second is just a standard closet. Again, lots of nice built-ins. You got this nice elaborate bathroom with the tiled-in jacuzzi tub. I mean, everything looks in really good shape. Again, it has the wallpaper that's kind of a little funky. I kind of like it. You got the, Nice big walk-in shower here. Looks like it's in all good shape. All the tiles, no mildew or anything like that. So I'll take you upstairs real quick. So again, for the entrance, you can go upstairs. Just up a little short staircase. And a nice chandelier here and a little window up there. So right when you come up to the top of the steps is the main bathroom. Really good size bathroom. It has tile floors and double sinks, big mirror. There's me. Toilet off to here and another nice tub and shower combo with the nice glass sliding doors. All in good shape. This house was definitely cared for. You see, you can see the backyard from here. Nice big backyard. Flat. Probably one of the best lots in the whole neighborhood. The main bathroom actually is adjoined to one of the bedrooms. 
Again, you can see the nice woodwork. Carpets are in good shape. Again, replacement windows, vinyl windows upstairs. So there's actually another. It's a nice feature. Is a big full-size closet right here in the hallway. So this house has a lot of storage. A towel closet over here. Just lots of extra storage. Nice little character here. Here's a little bench seat with storage. It lifts up. Cedar lined, you know, just extra. You can keep whatever in there. And a window. Here's bedroom number three. Big bedroom, another big bedroom. Boys could easily share this or do whatever. It has two closets. Two big closets here. I'll show you the second master bedroom. So here's another master bedroom. It has two walk-in closets. Again, just fantastic woodwork all the way around. Doors and all the trim is just in great shape. Has another bench seat. And then a second walk-in closet. It's nice and bright, but not too bright. So there's light, but it's not like it's flooding in. Then it has another full bathroom off of this room. So this has a full walk-in shower, double sink. I checked the water pressure. Very good water pressure. So it's just good. So we last but not least, we'll could take you down to the basement. All right, here's the basement. It is partly finished. You can see there is drywall all the way around. I'll turn on the light here. Sorry about that. Drywall, drywall all the way around. And there is a pool table here. This does stay with the house. He has a built-in rack with all the pool cues. All the windows are block windows for extra safety and they're a little bit more efficient. So there's four windows all together and they're all block windows. You don't have to ever worry about anybody breaking in through them or any leaks or anything like that because they're really thick tempered glass and there's a nice feature here is the sub pump and it does have a battery backup system so if the power was ever to go out like in a bad storm this battery generator would kick on and run, run the sub pump so you don't have to ever worry about leaks Off, and the uh, the way the house sits, it kind of sits on top of a slight grade, so this is a full basement, so you have this huge, oh, yeah, again, you have this huge other side that you can either just use as storage, there's just a ton of storage down here. I mean, it even has this cove down here for extra built-in shelves. As you can see, I walk around the exterior. There's really it's, looks good. It's a poured foundation. Don't see any major cracks. No major water stains. It, it smells very dry, very clean keeps dehumidifiers running all the time so there's really no moisture down here whatsoever as you can tell the, uh, the water heater is six years old 
The furnace is about the same time, six to eight years old. So again, with that, they still are definitely have a 10 year lifespan left, but you can think about maybe extending a, a warranty, getting a two year warranty to cover those items. Let's head back upstairs real quick. Show you the so just amazing feature right here. This in this main living room, the gas fireplace and the built-in shelves and the wainscoting all around. Let's go through backyard real quick again I said this is one of the nicest lots in the house because you got a nice big half acre back here and it is just almost completely flat you got this huge probably 50 foot deck that does need to be it needs to be power washed but really once you power wash it and stain it it really would come really back right back to life the exterior looks very good Let's see the exterior looks good the roof I was told is about 14 years old so that would be the it looks like it's in great shape so I would guess these are 25 year old shingles. I mean, all the gutters are brand new. So I guess the roof's closer to a 25 year old roof or 25 year roof. So probably would have another seven to 10 years left. I'll show you one last feature is the first floor mud room laundry room and off the kitchen is this fantastic mud room it does have the washer and dryer and sink and folding table and garage has a uh, good sized garage and that's about it so that's it's a beautiful house I highly recommend the, the area is top-notch so I think it's worth considering there is some updates that definitely need to be done all cosmetic wallpaper is the big one the kitchen is actually in good shape uh, with I think you would really make it look modern if you just took down the wallpaper and got new appliances because Honestly, the everything else looks fine. Looks just fine. Just with the space, the square footage alone. I mean, you got what... It's just... You can't beat it for this area. And the price is now around... They lowered it to three... Oh, I'm sorry, two fifty seven five, I think. So, you really just can't beat that. The square footage and the character... I just love how it's open so whoever's in the kitchen is not closed off from the rest of the house. So it's it's something else. A great layout. Great location. Great yard. So that's it. That is Ivory Hills Drive. Hope you liked it.